Welcome to Saturday, July the 25th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating the Word of God with you in our daily devotion. The continuing study on John chapter 3, today the words of verse 19. And this is the judgment. Light has come into the world, and people love the darkness rather than the light, because their works were evil. John is often called the apostle of love, but he is also the gospel writer that teaches judgment. For John knew that the salvation of mankind was initiated out of God's love for fallen sinners. But that judgment to eternal condemnation is the inevitable result for those who reject his offer of salvation by grace through faith in Christ's sacrificial work on the cross. The Bible makes it abundantly clear that you are either one who believes and is saved or one who does not believe and is condemned. The sinner who believes what the Bible teaches about Jesus does not receive eternal condemnation but will pass through death in the grave to eternal life in the mansions of heaven. The one who does not believe what the Bible teaches about Jesus is condemned and will be judged accordingly. This is the truth. Forgiveness of sins and eternal life depends entirely on our relationship with the Son of God, Jesus Christ, either through faith in him or outright rejection of him. According to the Bible, the outcome is clear and non-negotiable. Lest we forget, it is the will of God recorded in 1 Timothy 2 verse 4, for all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. It is God the Father who has done everything possible to welcome sinners into the mansions of heaven. As we have heard and celebrated in the last two days' devotions, God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world. God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. There are some people who argue that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners, so why are some still condemned? The answer is as simple as the question. Just as the same sun which rises and gives light to the world casts shadows of darkness, so also Jesus, the light of the world, exposes sin and casts the shadow of judgment on all unbelievers. The result for those who believe is God's forgiveness of sins and eternal life in heaven. But there is judgment and condemnation for all those who reject Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Remember, the love of God the Father is universal in its reach, for God so loved the world. And the purpose of God sending His one and only Son was to teach and reveal that forgiveness and salvation that leads to eternal life but also the reality of condemnation for those who deny him. As you heard earlier from 1 Timothy 2 verse 4, it is not God's will that any sinner should perish. But the harsh reality is that there are people who do not desire to believe in or love God, nor do they desire to obey God's commands, nor do they desire to believe in Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior from sin. Rather, they live for themselves, in open rebellion against God and His Word, denying God's gifts of forgiveness and salvation that come through faith in Jesus, and so they remain lost forever, condemned by their own unbelief. God the Father sent His one and only Son to save sinners from perishing eternally. But a sinner who openly embraces darkness rather than the light is condemned in their unbelief. The sinner who perishes 
cannot ever blame God, since God himself has done everything possible through his Holy Spirit to save them. And the Spirit continues to seek to plant that seed of saving faith right up to the moment of the unbeliever's death. That is the loving and merciful work of God the Father and the powerful Holy Spirit, to continue during the entire life of a sinner, to turn them and grow the seed of saving faith, so that, indeed, they can be saved. That is the gospel we believe, and the gospel we are here on earth to share as our primary mission to those who still wander in the darkness of their sin and the condemnation of their unbelief in Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that your will and purpose is to save sinners from judgment and eternal condemnation. Thank you that by your grace and mercy, love and power, you sent your one and only Son, Jesus, to suffer your judgment and punishment for our sins, so that whoever believes in Jesus will not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you that through faith in Jesus, I have received the forgiveness of my sins and the promise of the crown of eternal life in heaven. I pray for all sinners who deny Jesus and the gifts offered through faith in him and remain under your judgment and condemnation until they confess and repent of that sin. I pray that they would cease their daily hostility against you and receive the gift of faith offered through your spirit so that they would indeed recognize their lost condition to sin, realize their desperate need for a Savior from sin, and receive the blessing of faith in Jesus, and be saved unto eternal life. Fill me and every Christian with love for the lost, and the desire to reveal your saving will and purpose to them, until we enter the eternal bliss of heaven. All of this... I ask in the precious name of Jesus, who taught us all to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon all of you with his favor. And in the precious saving name of Jesus, give you peace. Amen.